by Karina Rush and directed by John Bukhari is called Illness. According to a fundraising webpage, it's the fictional story of a 13-year-old boy with a mental illness and the ever-growing fear of his parents after they learn about the shooting in Newtown. Rush declined an interview to discuss the project and said the team is focused on shooting quickly. But it won't happen here in Ridgefield if first selectman Rudy Marconi can help it. The answer's no, no, and after careful consideration, no. Marconi says the production company, Demian Pictures, has not applied for a permit to shoot in the town, and he hopes they'll pick somewhere else. You have to remember, the it's still a very fresh wound. The investigation has not even concluded here. Many agree, with less than two months since the Newtown shooting, it's too soon for a movie related to the massacre. But some Ridgefield residents we spoke to are willing to hear what the filmmakers have to say. It might be something that uh, will be helpful and get kids to understand that there are other ways to deal with conflict. The more we talk about it, the more we heal ourselves inside. And so maybe it was a very unfortunate thing to happen, but it's bringing attention to the spotlight of perhaps that... Um, it's too bad that it happened, but we can make a movie. Film the film to film festivals later this year, and they say they'll break. donate any proceeds or prizes to establish a foundation for families with children struggling with mental illness. Oh, In Richfield, Connecticut, Stacey yes. Delacat, Fox 5 News. A teenager's bizarre behavior in court landed her friend right behind bars in jail. 18-year-old Penelope Soto appeared in Miami-Dade court yesterday on drug charges. Well, she laughed and played with her hair during the entire appearance. The judge set bond at $5,000. As she walked away, she told the judge, adios. Well, the judge called her back and increased bond to $10,000. This time, Soto flipped him off. So the judge then set her to 30 days in jail for contempt of court. There you go. Wow, what a price to pay. Next at five, fat fighting solutions from Dr. Oz. How to burn fat faster and boost your metabolism. Dr. Oz joins us live, coming up right here on Fox 5. But first, we have a message from Fox 5 Vice President and General Manager Lou Leone. If you've been following the never-ending saga of the negotiation between the United Federation of Teachers and Mayor Bloomberg, to install a teacher evaluation plan. You no doubt know that the process has been a complete mess. 